Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie and today I will be showing you my manga haul for the month of June. So I got quite a few books this month again. Um, <laughs> my brother came to visit and so we went to go buy books then and I went out um, into town for my doctor's appointment so I've got books then as well and I think I had some orders come in from right stuff so yeah <laughs> it it was a lot I guess um but I've been reading more this month too so I'm pretty proud of myself um anyways I'm not gonna go by where I bought them I'm gonna go by series and hopefully I don't take too long but we'll see how it goes um yeah let's go ahead and get started so I apologize if you hear some like noise um, in the background. I don't know what my neighbors are doing, but it's kind of noisy this evening. But I kind of waited to the last minute to do this video because I bought more books yesterday. So that's how it's just going to be. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. Um, yeah, just a little PSA, I guess. Okay, first series. Um, the first one I bought from was Mob Psycho. So I bought like here and there um I've just been finding books as I go um so I got volumes two four seven eight I believe the previous month I got one and three so that makes sense <laughs> um but yeah so I haven't started reading it yet because I don't have a lot of consecutive books and I kind of want to get more under my belt before I start some series I'm like yeah I'll just jump right into it anyways but this one I kind of want to wait on I have a feeling like It'll be stressful. <laughs> I'll get to one later that I feel that way about. So yeah, um, let's look at the covers real quick. Um, but I have, I'm still on season two. I haven't continued watching since I last talked about it. So I haven't really watched more either. Maybe that's a good thing. Um, can catch up with some books a while. We'll see, maybe I'll finish the show first. Okay, next I started to get Magical Girl Raising Project. So this is the manga. I'm aware there's a light novel as well. Um, but I didn't know if I wanted to do both yet. So we'll see. But I got volume one and I bought this on a whim. I did get this from Right Stuff. I do remember that because I just couldn't resist it. It's been on my list for forever. And I'm really excited to start this. Um, it looks good. Whoa! a little glory for my camera okay <laughs> I love horror but I don't know if everyone else does so I don't want to yeah next I got the collector's edition of Marmalade Boy volume 2 um I'm excited I found this I <laughs> I like when I find books I need in the store I don't know why but it's a really good feeling so yeah, I got this one and I love the color pages. They are so cute and pretty. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a lot. Um, I was very shocked to see this when I went to the store. Gabrielle Dropout Volume 12. I love this series. Um, Gabrielle is one of my favorites. So yeah, I'm really excited I found this. I haven't read it yet. But, um, I think it's gonna be funny. They're all funny, what am I talking about? <gasps> oh, that was Christmas last year. Okay, I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy. I love this cover, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm really happy about this one. Um, I might just give the series a reread, actually, now that I got this, because it felt like it took a long time for that to come out. Yeah, that'll be fun to do. Um, I got Fruits Basket Collector's Edition, Volume 6. Slowly making my way through this one. Um, it's just like, wow, $20 on volume. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I try to prioritize series. And this isn't on my top one since I have the majority of the original run. Not all of them, but most of them. So I want like running to get this. So I'm getting it as I go. Like if I see it in the store, I'll try and get it if I can. So yeah, I got volumes five and six of Blood on the Tracks. Look at this cover, that's beautiful, <laughs> I love it. Um, and here's another one. I've been really liking the series, but I haven't been reading up to date because I've also been getting books here and there for this one. 
I'm taking my time because I heard like the first 12 is basically like the intro to the series, the first 12 volumes. So it's going to be a while. So I'm just going to take my time with this one. I'm not in a rush. Um, even though it's really good, I'm just trying to pace myself. So I'm not disappointed when I have to wait a long time. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think I have a good mix of like horror and magical girl and slice of life in this haul. I don't know. <laughs> you let me know if I have a good mix. Um, I got Oshinoko Volume 2, and I read this so fast. So this is one of those ones that I just jumped right into, and I'm upset because it's going to take some time for them to come out. <laughs> but I'm really liking it. This one, I felt like went a little bit slower paced than the first one, but I know the first one really had to like kick off the story really well. So I can't be too upset, but I do like to see how it goes with the twins and how they achieve their goals, um, especially Aquamarine. So I'm excited. Also going back into acting, that was fun. Um, also, I'm so sorry if I spoiled anything. Oh my God, I didn't even think that through. I'm so sorry. Um, this is The Tunnel to Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes, Ultramarine. And I guess this is like the manga version of a light novel series. Um, yes, light novel. Okay, and I saw Summer and I was like, I want to grab it. I've been seeing it from time to time when I'm online and I don't really know much about it, but these covers are really beautiful and yeah, they really capture the essence of summer. So I have a feeling I will like these. <laughs> um, and it also sounds like it has a big mystery to it. So I'm pretty excited for that too. Um, if you have read this and liked it, let me know. But yeah, if not, I'll let you know if you want me to <laughs> once I'm finished. Um, this was a random one I had on my list and I thought it was newer. Like, let me see. Um, is there no print date on here? Okie dokie. But yeah, so I didn't know how old this was. I just saw it online. But I managed to get it for only $5.50 at Second and Charles yesterday. It does have some like imperfections, like there's a dent here and um, little corner damage. But like other than that, I think it's perfectly fine. I got this because it looks lighthearted and very cute and all the animals look adorable. So yeah, I'm just going to jump into this one. It's okay <laughs> if I have to wait to find other ones. Um, I won't be like super... This isn't like on the top of my priorities, but I was happy I was able to find this for $5.50 yesterday. Um, especially since I had just written down on a list of books I'm interested in. Kind of got lucky on that one. I was very happy to grab the only volume of PTSD Radio Volume 3. Whoa! Okay. I was very lucky to grab the only volume, oh my gosh, of PTSD Volume 3. I haven't read it yet. I'm thinking of rereading the first two before I read it so I can just be engulfed in the mood, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Look how creepy this looks. Um, I'm enjoying the series. I don't like so like, um, see how heavy, how much ink is used on these pages. Um, the only bad thing is it does rub off on your hands because it is a lot of black ink. But other than that, I have no complaints. The story is good. It's very mysterious um very spooky i mean i haven't been too scared of it yet but who knows maybe the best or worst is yet to come okay um i got comic party i don't know why i keep seeing this for years and years and years and so i finally grabbed volume one um it was three dollars and fifty cents as you can see it's not like the most perfect edition but it's not too bad i mean it's together, I can read it, and it's not dirty. That's like my number one thing, is not dirty. So I'm really excited to read this one. Oh my God, they have cosplays in the back. That is so cool. Uh, oh my God, two more series I love. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna see what this is about since I keep seeing it. Yeah. Uh, another one I really wanted was Magical Girl Incident. I kept myself from buying it from Right Stuff, but then yesterday I saw it at the bookstore and I grabbed it so fast. 
Um, oh my god, I just saw the stuff in the background. Oh, it's cute. Okay. Anyways, I'll read the description of this one. This is a newer series. So every child has a dream job, and for Hiromi Sakura, it was being a hero like his favorite color-coded Defenders of Justice. Unfortunately, not all wishes come true, and now he's forever stuck with a miserable desk job. Until one evening when he steps up to save a little girl's life. With his newfound courage and strength to fight evil, Hiromi transforms into a magical girl. So I think this is going to be very cute and very funny. I am so excited. And this cover is beautiful, right? I love the art. I love the colors that they used. It's very nice. Um, also, color pink in the beginning. I love how a lot of them are doing that now. It makes me happy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. Okay, um, that was my first stack of three. Whew, it's a lot. <laughs> so I have volumes three and four of the series. I butcher all the time, so I'm not even going to say it. You can just look at the covers, um, which are very beautiful, by the way. Um, I read the first two volumes during my very bad attempt at a 24 hour readathon. I'm loving it so far. I did not know it was about vampires, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I'm really excited to see how it goes. I love the art style. I mean, I love the um, mangaka, so I think it's just gonna be inevitable that I like it. <laughs> but yeah, um, this one feels thicker. Hmm. Ooh, I think it is. Okay, that's exciting. I wonder what's going to be inside. <laughs> I got hooked on Tokyo Revengers. <laughs> I am addicted. Okay, so I got the next three volumes that I needed. So this has volumes five and six and seven, eight, nine, and ten. I still only read the first two um, like double sets. So I'm not super far into it, but I love it. <laughs> I love time travel and I... <laughs> I love, like, I don't know, the characters, their dynamics are so crazy, especially with how, like, everything changes every time he goes back in time. It, I love it. I'm just excited to see how it goes. I'm not going to flip through it too much because I don't want to ruin anything for myself. So, yeah, this actually made up most of the pile because look how huge these are. But they're nice. Look how pretty. <laughs> Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you my favorite part of my haul after I move those. I was very excited to see this in the store yesterday. It was the only one I saw. Da 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 da! Higurashi when they cry gal. So, or is it go? Anyways, either way, I am super excited. Um, as you may know, last year I finished my original. Higurashi manga collection. So I have all of those now. And I just love this series. I love the visual novels. I love the anime adaptions. And I'm so excited to read this. Makes me very happy. I did do a flip through the other day and I saw a panel that I thought looked very, I like the art too. It was very funny looking. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know. I probably can't now that I'm looking for it, but. <laughs> I'm excited. I like how it's kind of like it's not the same story because he did change stuff to it so it's not exactly the same and I just like to look at it and see the differences. I did watch the anime for this one though but you know it's always nice to read and um, collect more of something you love. So yeah this was my favorite find so far this year. I mean, I probably would have got it online, but still, it made me happy. Okay, next. I started another series. <laughs> this one has been on my radar for quite some time. I just never jumped the gun, I guess. Uh, my friends always told me, you need to watch the series. You'll love it. But I think from what I was reading, it's not like it doesn't finish the story or the fin story's not finished. So that made me like adamant about reading it. But yeah, so I started Dead Man Wonderland. Uh, well, started collecting it. I haven't read it yet, but I will read volume one soon and see how I like it. I do like how this cover is like this. But yeah, all right. I got volume seven of Nana. I've been just randomly getting volumes that I need as I see them. 
Um, there's one I've been having trouble finding. I can't remember off the top of my head. So I'll probably have to order some online at some point. But this is not on the top of my priorities. I might move it up though, because it is pretty long. Um, I saw this volume of Eureka 7 yesterday. I got it for $3.80. Um, is a series I've always heard a lot about, but never knew anyone who actually was into it. And so I didn't really know a lot about it. And I decided I'll just grab it. I mean, for $3.80, can you blame me? So I'm going to try this out and see how I like it. It was kind of fun to find this in the store yesterday. So the art's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I like it. We'll see. <laughs> um, if you like this series, let me know. Because I personally don't know anyone who got into it. So it'll be kind of cool to have someone to talk to about it with. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're almost done with this pile, I promise. We got three more in this one. And two of them are from Jujutsu Kaisen, three and four. Um, I'm getting this series slowly but surely. Um, I just started reading it like, <laughs> this is one I hear a lot about, but it's just, I don't always read things that are current. So I've been trying to do that more lately. And that's, what this is about <laughs> with me trying to see what's going on because I'm really stuck in the past sometimes with a lot of my books I'm not going to lie <laughs> and anime so yeah um but I'm loving it and I managed to get these um at $5.50 a piece so that made me really happy um and I'm, I'm liking the series so far so it turned out for the better yeah um it's not that like I don't want to sound like um Oh, I only watch old stuff. It's just, I get stuck in my comfort zone. I think that's how I should say it. That's what it is, my comfort zone. <laughs> I also got two Love Rue Volume 1, 2, like omnibus thing. I've been wanting to start this for a long time too. I do believe it was a visual novel series, which I also love visual novels a lot. So I'm gonna try and get into this series too. Um, I've been eyeing it for some time. Should I have started it? I don't know, but I did anyways. And I just peeled the sticker off the back. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and I got this at a cheaper price too. It was $14.95. I just ripped off the original price, so who knows what it was. I don't. <laughs> but here we go. Another new series. Um, I decided that like when it's cooler weather again, I'm gonna redo all my shelves. They need to overhaul. Last pile. <laughs> I got volume two of Polar Bear Cafe Collector's Edition. Panda is on the front. Isn't he so cute? Um, so yeah, I am so ready for another volume of Silly Goofy. Oh my God, they're cubs. <gasps> so cute. I am so ready for this volume. This just made it 10 times better. I'm ready. <laughs> I started another, another series. Um. <laughs> I need some restrictions, I think. Okay, anyways, um, Kaiju Girl Caramelize. I only read the first volume because the only other one I got after that was volume four. Sad. I'm loving it. I love this. So she is like part Kaiju. So she turns into this giant monster when she has like large expressions of emotion or whatever, when she's like feeling these emotions very deeply. Um, she turns into this and so she trying to like keeps to herself dresses down nothing too excitable she does breathing techniques she like listens to calming music um, to try and keep it together but this boy starts talking to her and she's like what the heck is going on and of course she starts feeling some feels and things happen so yeah <laughs> I'm loving it is very cute and I can't wait to see what happens next. All right. I'm finally caught up. I got the rest of the ones I needed. We're done. We're caught up. So, um, my Ruko-chan, um, I can't wait to start reading this. I think I'm going to save reading this until October for spooky season. Or at the beginning of October so I can see if I would recommend it. I mean, a lot of people love it, so I'm guessing... But I just want to see if I love it. I mean, I like the first two volumes, obviously, or I wouldn't have all these. But yeah, um, I'm going to save the rest. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I don't know. I'm tired. 
Um, I got volumes 11 and 12 for Hori Mia. I am doing this sporadically as well. So that's all I really have to say about this one. Except I just saw that it's getting another like um, part, like another anime. And I didn't really look what it's about. I was just so excited. And I was reading it at work. And so <laughs> I didn't get to finish reading it. Um, the article I was reading. So yeah. But there's more content to consume. So I am excited and happy. Yay! <laughs> Pandora Hearts Volume 3. So I'm being a little consistent here with this one. That makes me happy. Um, this one I've been getting a little slowly too, but that's okay. I do like this series a lot. Um, I did read a lot of it online through Scanlations once upon a time. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, next is The Detective is Already Dead Volumes 1 and 2. I remember when the anime came out, it immediately went on my watch list and I never watched it. But now I'm going to read it. So <laughs> maybe I will watch it over the summer. I don't know. I have a feeling this might be one I might try to make my mom watch. Who knows? Because it's a mystery. I'm excited. Um, it feels like it'll be something different too than what I usually read and watch. gotta breathe so I'm so sorry okay we have Kaguya Sama Love is War volume 9 I'm also still collecting this at random um I think I might have to move this up on my priorities list though because it has been some time since these been running I think and I'm really slow and I'm very very slow with this one so I think I will move this up from now on so we might see more of this in the future Inuyasha volume 12. I am so so close to completing this one. I just need like a handful of volumes left and then I can breathe. <laughs> um, I mean if I could finish Yurusei Yatsura, I think I can finish Inuyasha. So wish me luck. Okay, we're almost done I promise. This went a little bit longer than I intended. I did complete The Promise Neverland. This is done. This is complete. I got the other ending one floating around somewhere, but officially I am done. That's it. Look how thick this one is too. But yeah, little celebratory yay. Yay. Okay. Um, I got a bunch of volume ones here. So we have Studio Apartment Good Lighting, Angel Included. Um, Shintaru Tokomitsu is a high schooler living all alone, but things take an unexpected turn when a girl named Toa shows up on his balcony. Not only is she incredibly pure and sweet, but there's something different about her. Something divine. Just who is Shintaro's new roommate and what adorable hijinks lie in store? This looks cute, it sounds funny, and I am excited to read it. I saw it online and I was like, no, I don't need it. And then I saw it on sale, <laughs> so I got it. All right, same with this one. I love the anime, so now I have the manga, which is volume one. I saw this at Barnes and Noble, and I was like, you know what? I really like this show. I'm going to try reading the books. So I got Monthly Girls' Nozaki-kun, sorry, volume one. Um, so basically, he is a mangaka. She has a crush on him, but she doesn't know his secret just yet, and he thinks He's just going to help or she's going to help her. She's going to help him with this. And yeah, um, he doesn't really see that she likes him and all this stuff. So she just keeps trying to say, oh, I love you. And it's just going over his head. And so she makes friends with other people who also end up helping him and all this other stuff. And it's very funny and goofy and cute. The end. Okay, we're almost done. For the kid I saw in my dreams... So this little boy, he is a twin, but something happened to his family. It was very tragic, and I'm not going to go into detail because it's very most of this first volume. Well, they have like a one of those twin connections, those twin power things. So that's pretty cool. So as an adult, he's trying to find what happened to his brother and who did all these things to everyone in his family. So yeah. Um, this is the one. This is the one I started reading and I was so upset when I didn't have volume two. 
so I think that means it's good. <laughs> but they are all hardcover, so it is a little pricey. So this one might take me a little bit to get. Um, and I feel like you run through it pretty quick, which is one of the bad things. This is also from the person who wrote Erased, so that has to be good, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is my last manga. Um, K on Shuffle Volume 1. When I saw that they are doing more K on material, of course, I got excited. Um, and look, a color page. What? Um, I mean... It's not the original girls, but I think it will still be just as funny and cute. It looks like they're four panel comics, so that would be a fun read. Usually those ones are like some of the funnier ones in my opinion, so that's going to be awesome. I think this is one I'm going to save for when I need a good like lift me up type vibe. So yeah. My last one is not a manga. This is a light novel, but I was able to find volume 5 of A Certain Magical Index which made me very happy. It was even better that it was 425. So yeah, this was my last one. Also, Accelerator is on the cover. So <laughs> I was really happy about that too. Um, whoa, I am so sorry. Look at some of these color pages before we end this. But yeah, if you didn't know, they're putting all of the manga out for index into like one big omnibus hardcover fancy grimoire style book and it's going to come out this year. I have mine on pre-order so I'm trying not to buy any of the index manga. I am trying to finish my railgun set which some are getting reprints this month Woo! and yeah so this is going well my index collection <laughs> or my Tuaru collection so yeah this made me really happy. The price made me happy and look, it's like not bad quality either. So that is my manga haul. I'm so sorry. It took so long to go through. Oh my gosh. But I really appreciate it if you watched all this way. Um, did you see anything that you like? Did you see anything that you already read? Talk to me about it in the comments. I would love to discuss manga with you. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this or related to games or lifestyle stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, but it'd be cool. Uh, yeah, but I thank you again and I hope I will see you on Friday. Uh, but yeah, for now, I will say goodbye.